everyone, I'm Callie Wright, the game designer of Moonshell a Mermaid Game, and welcome to our second video update. You may have noticed on the campaign page that we are now fully funded. Yay! I'm so excited that we're going to be able to manufacture, create this game, and get it out to all of you. For today's updates, I'm going to go over our two new mermaid characters that we've unlocked, as well as share a little bit about the upcoming stretch goals that we still have to achieve in, we have about a week of the campaign left. And before we get started with that, really quickly, I just want to mention that the deluxe wooden insert from Sandbox Gaming is will still be available after the campaign during the pledge manager. You'll be able to add that to your pledge and pick it up then if you missed out on it so far. Here we have our two new mermaid characters that we've unlocked, bringing our total to six. We have the moon mermaid and the sun mermaid. So really quick, the moon mermaid should actually be able to augment the rotate action. So instead of just rotating once, you can choose to rotate once or twice as one action, which is really cool. And then her dark side ability here, actually going to be able to use the mermaid bowl, place it any way you'd like on any of the corners of the board. And on your next turn, at the beginning of the turn, for free, the board will rotate to be facing towards you. And that's how you'll be able to use the dark side ability in Mermeeple there. Our Sun Mermaid is a little bit tricky. So she actually can, instead of pulling tiles towards yourself, you can actually choose to pull tiles away from you, effectively blocking the opponents across from you, forcing seashells you don't want away from you, or forcing them to rotate the board. In addition, her dark side ability is pretty cool. You can actually slide around some tiles on your treasure board. So let's say you wanna, you wanna move this seashell right here. You'll place your mermaid bill on there, choose a direction, let's go this way, and keep moving it that direction as much as you want. So we could choose to stop here, we could go over, but remember your seashells will fall to the bottom of your treasure chest board. And we could even choose to go over once more again and fall to the bottom like that. And that is how you use the two new mermaids and all of their abilities. Lots of different choices you have now in the game, six mermaids to choose from. And that's not all. We have a bunch of new stretch goals still left to achieve in the, about a week that we have left of the campaign, including some new tiles that go on the ocean board, as well as a bunch of new cards. All of these packaged together are pretty much an expansion pack. So I hope that we are able to unlock that. If you have backed the game, thank you so much. And if you haven't, I hope this has helped you maybe consider backing and joining in on the mermaid game fun. Thank you so much.